Ah yes, a sophisticated yet primitive bouquet with just a hint of micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Some of you may remember these old shelves I had in my shop. They stored paint cans. They've been sitting outside. I'm gonna take them apart and see if I can give them a new lease on life. So on the Ramsey scale of rustic, I want this project to be about a four. So I'm gonna clean these boards up a little bit. I'm edge jointing these boards and I'm ripping them to random widths. All of these boards will join together nicely, but I want to make a little definition between each board. So I'm going to cut a slight chamfer along each edge. And that just means I'm going to tip my blade to a 45 degree angle. Now let's see if I can glue these all up at the same time. These boards will help keep everything flat while I glue it up. I've got packing tape on there to prevent the glue from sticking to the boards. With that all dry, now I can cut out a circle. These are all inch and a quarter holes. These are half inch slots for the stems of the wine glasses. Here I'm rounding over the inside edges of those holes. And I'm going to put a round over on these two one inch wide strips. This piece doesn't go directly at the center. It goes down about a third of the way. So these two pieces are going to go on either side of it. So I need to cut them to match the arc of this circle. Before I attach all this, I'm going to glue together this assembly. And I'll drop a few screws in from the back side. These mounting holes will be hidden behind the bottles. I've also got some of these pre-made plugs that'll cover those holes. I'm applying a Danish oil finish. I want to try something a little different on this month's Audible Spot and recommend a book that I haven't read yet, but I'm hoping that you'll read it along with me and next month we can compare notes. It's called Lock In by John Scalzi. It's about a flu-like disease that affects most of the world's population, causing the people to become paralyzed or locked in. But what's fascinating about this audiobook is that you can pick who narrates it, either Amber Bidson or Will Wheaton. And of course, I picked the Will Wheaton version because Will Wheaton, the main character of the book, is named Chris and we never know the gender of that character. And it sounds like Will Wheaton and Amber Benson both have a different take on that character. If you have a couple of minutes, check out this video by Will and Amber describing the book and their narration. Don't forget, you can download 
download Lock In free or one of over 150,000 audiobooks by going to audible.com slash woodworking. Once you start using Audible, you're gonna love it. So remember, next month we'll discuss Lock In and I really wanna know which version you downloaded, the Amber Benson version or the Will Wheaton version. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching Woodworking for Beer Bortles. If you'd like to make your own wall-mounted wine rack, check in the description for a free set of plans. Whenever you can, try to use some recycled or upcycled lumber or even some scrap lumber that you might have in your shop. A lot of that wood has a lot of nice character to it. This kind of reminds me of a wine barrel. If you're new to woodworking for mere mortals, welcome. You should know that I post brand new woodworking videos every Friday and I'd love to have you subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook and I tweet at mere mortals WW. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm David and I'm a Mimo from Serbia.